Hola, it's Gabby here for Casi Gabby and today I'm going to make a car a little bit out of my comfort zone because I love mixed media but sometimes when I start putting stuff together what I make is, is what I make is a big mess. Uh, right now I'm using my um, Distress Oxidize Inks and using these two colors to um, made the panel and I want the, the center to be like a circle lighter than the outside and I'm going to make the the border of the panel darker with vintage photo um, a black suit and I the color that I use for the middle was the less preserved and picket raspberry after I have the panel all color, I add splashes in water and I dry them very well. You can leave them dry to air dry, but um, I, I was very excited to make this car and I want to move on, going on, on, on. Uh, I use this, uh, from this die I use the small heart and I'm going to cut random hearts all around the panel. I did this because I don't want the panel to have like dimension. I can glue the hearts in top of the panel but I want the hearts to be as flat as the panel. Like it's just one piece. I cut it randomly all over through the page. After I finish uh, cutting them, I'm going to start coloring with um, white acrylic but as you see there, I was trying to do it without this, this, this step that is better to do it. I was like a little bit lazy and I said, no, I'm going to do it like that, but now it's more work uh, to me the step to glue them down with double sided stick tape. I glued them down to my um, board um, and then I start coloring in white very fast. I apply Two layers drying between each layer. After I finish applying the white, I'm going to grab my black, sorry, my black gel pen, and I'm going to start drawing, drawing, sorry, drawing a border and adding squares, little squares. You will see what I mean in a few seconds. I do this with white gel pen and black gel pen. Okay, I finished all of them and I'm going to unglue them from my platform and I'm going to start um, adding more color to the first panel. I'm going to grab an um, eraser from a pencil and I'm going to add white acrylic dots randomly in the panel. I do this twice in the same dot, the way they look a little bit lighter because the oxide ink um, is absorbed but, but absorbed by the acrylic paint. They get a little bit rosy or uh, lila color, but if you add twice, it, it looks uh, better. After that, I'm going to add with a marker that is liquid marker and it's kind of fluorescent blue, I'm going to add random dots in the panel. 
also after this I'm going to surround the white dots with the marker but now in yellow Okay, after I finish that, I'm going to start adding <coughs> sorry, uh, details with black gel pen and white gel pen uh, everywhere in the, in the cards. I'm going to add little spikes to the blue dots and I'm going to surround uh, the white dot with black um, gel pen and add a dot in the middle of the white dot and add white dot in the middle of the blue dot. A lot of thoughts. I'm going to add a yellow gel pen in the top of the yellow uh, marker. That way, give a little, a little bit of something, something to the car. After I finish doing this, I'm going to glue this panel to another panel that is just white uh, cardstock. That's it. And then I'm going to start gluing my hearts, the one that I colored before. I grab this uh, wonderful art um, I dye uh, paper cuts they already uh, made and they have amazing art in here and I'm going to add her but uh, first I'm going to cut the white frame and I'm going to add a white frame a uh, black frame but because I didn't know if I'm going to like the black frame I do it first, um, I cut it first because normally I glue her in the black paper and cut the frame but I'm going to prevent if I don't like her or not, I'm going to do first uh, trace uh, hair and cut and just place it to see if I like it or not. Um, before that you will see, you will see that I add a mento marker around the white border that you have after, after I cut her. I just place it to see if I like it and because I like it I'm going to keep it like uh, that. I'm going to keep the black frame because I want to decorate her first to alter her a little bit. No, not that much, just a little bit. i adding a stickless in purple in the wings and in the crown. I also going to color her hair, make it darker, with uh, distress markers. I going to do the same thing with the dress and with the uh, apron that she have. It's like an apron that she have.
for the dress I'm going to add little tiny dots in Nouveau Drop uh, these dots were already in the dress I just making them dimensional with the Nouveau Drop I also going to add eyelashes that you see me doing this before is you see my old videos these are tiny eyelashes that I made especially for dolls and I glue it with the Juhu glue because they are very easy to glue they, are, they glue very fast with this glue I always this, use this glue for the eyelashes even when I um, glue them in fabric after that I'm going to add um, I'm going to make a um, combination of mop Posh and Distress Glitter I think the same pick raspberry and I'm going to start decorating the heart that she's holding Now I I adding red gel pen glitter red pen in the mouth and I'm going to add glossy accents in the eyes and in the mouth. And in the heart that I just add glitter, I add a lot of glitter. I mean it's like um dimensional um because I add layers and layers and layers without um let it dry between layers. I just add, 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 and make like a, a dimension um, heart. Uh, in here, I'm adding a glossy paint that is flat, but it stays very glossy. I trace in the wings because I want to make the wings a little bit dimensional. Um, this is pink balloon. I just uh, trace the wings that they have in the in the cut and cut them again the same shape everything I just going to glue them a little bit uh, more off of the other wings I also add glitter in the in those wings and I glue them with the, a little bit of double sized stick tape in the bottom of the wings I, I going to add in the crown three small gold uh, beads and I'm going to glue them with the glossy accent okay after the hard drive I feel that her ham is um, it's not holding the heart, the heart is just like squeezing the heart. And I just got the the a little bit of the hand or the arm of the heart and I'm going to glue a little bit of paper in the back and I'm going to cover the heart all over again but concentrating in the part that is uh, flat that is have no glitter at all. I'm going to add more glitter in that part that is the rest of the heart. That way it's going to look um, the same level, the whole thing.
Okay, after it dry, I'm going to cut two small hearts that I'm going to put in her shoes and I'm going to glue the hand in the glitter heart with double sided stick tape because I don't think uh, white glue is going to hold very well in the glitter because it's um, have like a texture maybe I can use the Yuhu glue but I just went for the double sided stick tape I'm gluing right now the tiny, tiny, tiny hearts in the shoes. I was thinking heart or stars, and I went with the hearts because I have all heart, the paper and what she's holding and everything. Now I'm going to glue her to the black uh, frame, and I'm going to um, see how she look in the in the paper. For the sentiment I grabbed the thin holes, um, I, I don't know how you call this, but it's with thin that have like um, sentiments everywhere and I grabbed this one because it say you are, uh, what is say, I don't remember what it say. You are my one and only, and because she have all the hearts around her and she holding just one, I think this uh, sentiment was appropriate. I just glue her and I'm going to grab this uh, paper. I already prepared my card. This is six by six. It's a little bit bigger than she is. She's five and a half by five and a half. And I grabbed this paper that is from Halloween, but I have black and white stripes, and I think it was perfect because it matched what is inside the hearts that are floating around her. And I just going to glue it. As you see, my glue explode, and I make a little bit of a mess. And I'm going to because I have a little bit of glue that I couldn't take off the frame. I'm going to add glitter. Sorry, I didn't do this in camera, but I add a little bit of glitter to the frame to. Uh, um, this guy is that piece uh, of glue that I couldn't take off because the, as you see the glue explode. Um, I just glued, it, glued her down and I'm going to add a little bit of um, details in white gel pen that I'm going to add dots everywhere in the car. This look like it's um, tedious and take a long time but it's not for real, it's very fast because if the gel pen is working really good, it's go super fast. Well, this is my car for today. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope you like them. Until next car, goodbye.